Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to teach you how to deploy your application using a setup installer. So there are two methods to do this. The first one is going to be an open source method which is completely free and it is a bit complicated but I'm going to show it anyways. You need two pieces of software for this. So the first one is called NSIS and the second one is 7zip. So we need to download these two software from the respective sites. So I will put links in the description to download this. So you just go to 7zip.org and click the download button and it should download the installer for 7zip. And then you can follow the instructions and install 7zip on your computer. And then you need to download NSIS which I will put a link in the description as well. And then it will give you this installer and you can just install it just the way you install any other program. And after that you can just uncheck these checkboxes and then click close. And then you need to download this file from our telegram group. So click the link in the description of this video and come to this page and from there you can view in group and then download the file from there. But if you don't want to use telegram then you can go to this directory so this is basically program files reference assemblies microsoft framework .NET framework version 4.8 somewhere like that then you will find the following dll files in there as well so if you want you can find those dll files manually from there or you can just download the zip file i compiled for you with all these dll files inside it from the telegram group so if you download that you can extract it to some folder and in this case i will just create a new folder called my app and i will extract all of that into that folder and then i need to grab my application so if you don't know where your exe is you can watch this video where i show you where the exe for your application is located which is actually very simple and you can just go to that directory and copy this exe file into this folder where you have all of these dll files and then you can select all of them and right click and go to 7zip and then add to archive so that's why we downloaded 7zip because we need to create a zip archive with these files so let's just add this to the archive and i will give it these parameters you can change this to whatever you need and it doesn't really matter you can just leave it there but you need to make sure that you select the archive format as zip and for the compression level you can select whatever you want but i'm just gonna keep it at zero because we don't need any compression at this point so you can just leave all other options as default or you can just give a name for your archive i'm just gonna leave it there and click ok and this will give us a zip file and as you can see the files are inside that zip file as well so now let's launch nsis which we will use to create the actual setup so you can search for nsis in your start menu and you can open the application so in here you will find a link called installer based on dot zip file so this is the easiest way to do this first create the zip file and use this tool to convert that zip file into an installer so after you click that link a little dialog will pop up and from here you need to open a zip file so i will go to that directory where my zip file is located and then select that one and press ok and it will open my zip file and as you can see the files are there and make sure you select modern here in the interface section because the classic one is a bit ugly and the modern one is what's familiar for us in most cases and for the installer name i'm just gonna put my app with setup and for the default folder which is the installation location i'm gonna select program files and your name here and i will change this your name here to the name of my application which is going to be my awesome app and now this installer will install your application in the user's program files directory and in there it will create a new folder called my awesome app and in there it will install our application and for the output exe file which is the name of the setup exe just the file i will just put my app with setup and for the compression you need to select a lizard ma this gives us the best compression just like 7zip and now you can click generate to generate your installer and this should be quick and our installer should be compiled within a few seconds so now let's just close that one and as you can see in our directory with our files we have this 
my app with setup.exe which is the installer for our application so let's launch that and see how the installer looks so it's just a very basic installer with one page for selecting the location where you want to install the program and then it will just install so let's just install the application and there you go you have installed your application and as you saw the installer was very simple and if you want a bit complicated installer with some additional dialogues i don't know like agree to dialogues and you can create shortcuts in start menu and desktop and all of that you can just go to this nsis application and you will find links to the documentation and plugins and all of that and you can use the example scripts to generate your own scripts and compile it using nsis so i'm not going to talk about everything you can do using nsis because it's a lot and it is out of the scope of this video so you can find about nsis yourself there's documentation there are youtube videos and i think you can figure it out by yourself if you want so this method was a bit complicated the next one is going to be very easy and that is by using a professional grade setup installer making software so we are looking for advanced installer so this is an amazing piece of software which you can use to create complicated as well as simple installer packages for your applications and the best thing is even though it says it's a trial for 30 days you can use this application to create simple installer projects just download this trial application and after downloading it we can install it and then after that we will launch our advanced installer and from here if i go to file and help and about as you can see this is a trial 30 days left and it is licensed to nobody so you can use this software even after the 30 day period ends you can use it to create projects that don't require the license like this visual studio application template which as you can see the license required is none so you can just use this to create an installer for your visual studio application so you just click on that and click create and then you can give a name for your product and your company and then you can store the setup files and the project file that advanced installer creates for your project and then you need to select where the visual studio solution is located so you can just navigate to that folder where your solution is located and find this .sln file which is the visual studio solution for your project and then just double click on it or open it it will ask which configuration you want to use for the setup installer so i'm just going to use debug64 because that's the one i built my application or compiled my application so i will just use that one so if you compile to some other architecture you can select something else and click next and as you can see advanced installer has recognized all the files required for application to run correctly so as you can see the dll files have been added automatically we didn't have to download the zip file from our telegram group or find it manually in the windows folder all of it is added automatically with advanced installer and next you can just click next and then you have the option to create shortcuts for your application in the desktop and the start menu and also you can launch your application at the end of the install and then you can add a license agreement for your application if you have anything like that and then you can just click next and the project should be created and now you can play around all of these settings and change all of this to your preferences i'm just gonna leave it there nothing bothers me so now what i'm going to do is build our setup installer so just go to build and click build and this will take some time and it will create an installer package for your application so which you can find in this location so if you click that file explorer will open and your setup file is right there so now let's double click on it and as you can see there are some extra dialogues for our application which we didn't have in the nsis version and now we can select the location for our application and then it will install our application and then we have the option to launch our application as you can see when we go to the start menu our shortcut has been created and also if you go to the control panel and go to programs and features you will find your app right there when you use advanced installer but when you use the nsis version 
you want. One other thing that you get from this advanced installer setup is you can modify, repair and remove your application by using the same setup. You don't have to manually do that like go to the installation folder and delete the entire folder or go to control panel and uninstall it from there. In fact, NSIS doesn't have a control panel entry. You cannot uninstall your product from there. You just have to delete it from your program files folder or wherever you choose it to install and advanced installer really makes it very easy to create this type of project but as i said previously nsis is very powerful you can use different scripts to implement different functionalities and you should really read the documentation it's for like more pro users if you're just doing a simple project and you want to ship your project with the detailed files then advanced installer is the way to go so if you want you can purchase the advanced installer license but you can just use the free trial version so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys liked it if you did like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye for now